So head over to the flatten tool and right click to lower. And these circles you see is like, yeah, it's to make it easier to judge the height of something. It's not that easy without those. Then it looks all the same. You can turn it off by if you see this bullseye, it looks like a bullseye, but yeah, it enables the height contour. It looks kind of fucked up. I don't know I don't know how to pronounce that. It's contours contours co contours con contours. That's the right way to say it. Okay. And here we have a little shore or a little like coastline or a dock, I don't know. And I want a little island in between here. So I'm gonna use the height tool to like raise a little island. Small little island. I don't know if this can be even called an island because it's it's like that small. So small. There we go, that's a little island. Or whatever. And I also want a little lake. And again, then you head over to the height tool. Choose a circle, which one you want. The more intense circle, the more intense of a circle you'll get. Kind of, yeah. Basic. And I'm gonna show you another mistake that you can do. That can occur while building a lake. And I want it deep, and I'm gonna make it spiky, so I'm gonna choose the noise tool. Or brush, noise brush. Spiky, spiky. Alright, alright. That's enough. Now it looks like this. It's a little island, it's a little boob in the middle there. This is the lake. Uh, I want the lake to be or I want more water in the lake basically so then you wanna head over to the water tool or the water flood it's called flood and it floods, floods the area yeah within yeah the circle there so I just click in the middle and it will start to flood you can see the water is starting to expand around here I'm gonna show you something. If you click too many times, you will get to the point where the world will be flooded, like here. Then you press cancel, because you do not want the world to be flooded. And to uh, redo the flooding, you just right click and left, uh, left click to flood. So you can, yeah, you can like do whatever you want actually. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the island. I think this is a pretty decent island. Now I, what I want to do is make biomes. And when you open the, the world painter, you can see a little, yeah, you can see the box here, the panel, over the panel, on the left side. It's called layers. And it's a bunch of biomes, actually, or bunch of things you can use to edit your build or your world or whatever and I want biomes here and there's a little box here called biomes and it's unhooked or unchecked so I want or to get that you get over to tools I think no it's on to edit and then you head over to custom biomes it's under you rotate custom biomes and then you can choose biomes from the layers panel here and then this this little box will pop up and everything here is I'm, I'm not sure what the hell this is oh okay never mind uh, what I want this island uh, to be is I want it to be like a forest like 
yeah. Like I want it to be the Thai, Taiga, Thai, Taija, Taiga, yeah, whatever. That's like the big trees you see in like Alaska, for example. I don't know what they're called in English. I'm pretty sure it's not Taiga, but whatever. Doesn't matter. So just, yeah, just choose the whole area and select the whole area. Just brush it all over. You may want to use a more intense brush to get like, just keep like the faded dots on the outside. Okay, so this is the island so far. Uh, by the way, this biome brush will not grow anything, it will not grow the trees. It will only make it possible for the trees to grow there. And uh, and it will make the sky like it will would be in the forest biome. Or, yeah, the taiga biome or whatever. Uh, and to grow trees you want to head over to the populate. Yeah, in layers. And just zoom in. And you want to select the area where you want trees to grow, basically. Yeah, and it will grow all random, actually. And don't worry, it will not grow on the water. And I, for instance, do not want trees to grow on the hillside. I want that to be like all clear there. There we go. I can like have trees in the middle here. And around the lake here, for example, I can just fill the whole lake. And yeah, over here and all over here. And in the middle there. Okay. Yeah, and the biome selection tool here, it also makes the grass or grass, depends on where you're from. Uh, yeah, the color of the grass in the biome that you selected and the color of the sky. Okay, so I think we'll, we're done with this island. And when you're done, you want to export it to Minecraft. And to do that, you head over to File, and ex Export, Export, and then you hit Export as a new Minecraft map, or Control Control E. Or you could just press this button here next to the Save World button. So yeah, but I'm gonna use this one here for fun, just to show you. And then this window will pop up. Here you name your world once again. I'm still gonna name it YouTube. Here you can choose what the border or what you want beyond your world because your world is limited. This world is limited to five blocks in radius or five thousand blocks in radius. I'm sorry. You can also choose bedrock wall. Uh, the bedrock wall only looks good when you would use a square wall square world oh yeah and uh, here down here you can choose what format you want it to be like what kind of what yeah what minecraft what minecraft version you want it to be in or what kind of world type you want it to be in. and I want it to be the default and the mode I want it to be creative because I'm going to fly around here you can include the chest of goodies, which will give you all kinds of stuff. I can show you that later. And allow cheats, that's, yeah, sure. Export everything, actually. And here you have cavern research and all that. I will not go into that in this tutorial. I will go further into that in the in-depth tutorial, the advanced tutorial. Okay, so when you're done, you just hit export. And it will take like seven minutes or so. Depends on the sp the yeah on your computer. 
So it will take like seven minutes for me, maybe, maybe even less. Maybe even less. I think it will take even less. But I will skip this part, and I'll see you after the world has been exported. Hello, and we're back. Okay, so when you're exported the uh, Minecraft map, you wanna wait until it done. It's done. Uh, mine took about six minutes, six minutes and seven, seven seconds to be exact. And then you open your Minecraft folder, not folder. Sorry, you open Minecraft, and then you go to single player, and there it is, YouTube. The world YouTube we just created. Play selected world, and we will spawn in the valley. I, yeah, okay. Valley. Okay, so we got some snow going on here. That's because it's tight, tight car cargo. Yeah, snow. And that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got some snow going on here. Uh, it's kind of squarey, but you can fix that. Uh, when I usually make my maps, I take pauses. Oh wait, I just pause the game and enter the world several times. So that this part does not happen. This is our lake. It's kind of frozen. That's because I chose a snow biome. But another, nonetheless, it's kind of awesome, I must say. Because I really like mountains. I really like this map, actually. Everything except for the... Yeah. The squarey things. Parts of the snow. But that can that's an easy fix. I've experienced a lot. Worse. Before. Okay, so this is the top of the map. Pretty cool. And you have this far jump, that's the spawn uh, down there. And this is the other mountain. Let's head over to the river and see how that turned out. It's probably frozen as well because we chose that biome. Or I chose that biome. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to put the blame on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we have also the little island in the dock. Stuff, yeah, harbor, harbor. Okay, yeah, it's frozen as I predicted, but it's pretty deep actually. It's a lot deeper than I would have than I thought in the first place. It's very deep. And I, I like this river except for the ice. I don't really like ice, I just chose the wrong biome. And that's the little island, it's a pretty cool little island. And you have the mountain in the horizon. Oh god, it's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely, it's just so lovely. Yeah, uh, I will not leave the link in the description for this world because I do not like it as much as I would, or as I do like my other, or the maps that I have uploaded. And I don't think that this map right here is worth it. It's not worthy. Even though it's cool, it's not worthy. Yeah, but I will leave a link for the World Painter. And uh, if you want the in-depth tutorial, I suggest you hit that subscribe button. Because then you will be notified when the video is uploaded to the YouTubes. So why don't you do that right away, and I'll see you in the advanced tutorial. And I really hope you like this tutorial, at least. And I hope you found it useful. Okay, I'll see you later, Ali, alligator, Ali, alligator. Yeah, yeah, burn. Oh uh, yeah. Bye, bye, bye.